Numerous crashes reported as winter storm hits Washtenaw County. University of Michigan students walk through campus on Sunday, December 11, 2016. An arbor saw its first significant snowfall on Sunday and a total of 6 to 10 inches is expected by the end of the day. Matt Weigand, the Ann Arbor News Matt Weigand, the Ann Arbor News. Ann Ann Arbor, me, a number of crashes were reported on the afternoon of Sunday, December. 11 as it snow continued to fall on Washtenaw County. Washtenaw County officials were responding to about 15 reports of vehicles crashes about 1.45 p.m., according to Washtenaw County dispatchers. Crashes were reported at locations including eastbound M14 east of the West Triple Decker intersection with US 23, eastbound I-94 west of Michigan Avenue, eastbound M14 at Gottfriedson Road, eastbound I-94 at Baker Road. Northbound US 23 at Carpenter Road, eastbound M14 at Earhart Road, westbound I-94 at Dancer Road, and westbound M14 at Barton Drive, dispatchers said. The crashes were not believed to be blocking traffic or involving major injuries. In Ann Arbor, police were handling about five crashes consistently throughout the day, said Ann Arbor Police Sergeant Craig Lee. Crashes being handled about 2 p.m. Sunday in Ann Arbor were not believed to be blocking traffic or involve major injury. A winter storm warning is in effect for Washtenaw County until 4 a.m. Monday, December 12. According to preliminary data from the National Weather Service, Ann Arbor already had a snow depth of 3 inches by 11.30 a.m. Sunday. Snowfall between 7 to 11 inches is possible by midnight, according to updated information from the service. Roads are expected to be slippery and visibility will be reduced to one mile in most locations, with visibility reduced to one quarter mile in heavy snowbursts, according to the National Weather Service. The National Weather Service recommends residents stay off the roads, except for emergencies. For those who do expect to travel Sunday afternoon and night, the service recommends keeping extra food, water, and a flashlight in their car. For more on crashes around the county, check the comments below.